Marvel's Avengers! The first film to officially have Marvel's in its title. Like, you know, people actually call it Marvel's Avengers, not just Avengers. Like, you know, people don't say Marvel's Captain America, the first Avenger. But anyways, yes, Avengers. So this was finally here. It was super hyped. It was like, OMG, how are they going to do it? How are they going to put a bunch of different characters that already have their own little side stories and, and different character arcs and little, little solo movies and put them all together into one giant movie? And, well, to blow everyone's mind, back in May, May of 2012, it was like, Oh my gosh, they actually did it! <laughs> no one expected it! And it was like, whoa, this is quite the blockbuster, it just hit over a billion! Bill, what well, was it that big, actually? It was, right? Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. Huh, that is kind of a big deal. Avengers, that's pretty cool, right? Right, right, right? Alright, so, we got Iron Man, we got Captain America, we got the Incredible Hulk, we got the Mighty Thor! We have Black Widow and Hawkeye. I should say that more like Hawkeye. Nobody liked Hawkeye. But that was back at the time. <laughs> all right. Yeah, sure. He's probably the lamest of them all. He's even working for Loki half the time. Like back when I was young and watching it, I didn't even think that he was supposed to be a superhero. I didn't even understand how the mind gem worked. <laughs> but hey, look at that. Two Infinity Stones in one movie. And nobody even knew it. <laughs> so the Tesseract is being taken by Loki and he's going to have a war on Earth to get his revenge on Asgard. Somehow that, that works out. Sure. He wants his revenge on Thor. But now Thor is going to come and... Well, he's going to put that hammer down, if you know what I mean. Only to stop this giant war that already has raged out, we're going to have to assemble everybody in the Marvel Cinematic Universe! Which was a lot smaller back at the time. And Nick Fury of, is, of course, in charge of this, so you got quite the cast. Uh, that's Samuel L. Jackson there. And you got Chris Evans, you got Chris Hemsworth, <laughs> double Chris. Now you got Mark Ruffalo, yes, yeah, screw Ed Norton. And then you got Robert Downey Jr., you got Scarlett Johansson, then Clint, <laughs> Jeremy Renner. <laughs> I actually really like Jeremy Renner, he's a great actor. And then, of course, Tom Hiddleston as Loki, the god of mischief. And he's considered, like, oh my gosh, Marvel actually got a villain right. Again, like, you look back at the the first movie he was actually in, Thor, he wasn't that good of a villain. And that just proves, like, you kind of have to have a villain in multiple Marvel movies to actually like him. Yes, he finally is like, whoa, a cool Marvel villain. Well, my gosh, he really puts a threat on the Avengers. Except he was actually pretty weak when you think back to it. Like, the Avengers really just beat him up pretty good. He was he was pretty weak actually and as a whole. Okay, okay, okay. Now now to actually express my opinion on this film. Looking back again at the time, say like Iron Man and stuff, at the time it was like Oh, WebG, how did they do this? <laughs> Are my voice is getting annoying. I'm sorry. But still, it was like You're blowing my mind, Barb <laughs> And then but now looking back at it, it's like this is, this movie is the literal definition of cliche action movie. Let's go over the deets. You got giant crossover event. You got the giant CGI disposable army. Insane mass destruction across some really high budget city action. Blow up explosions everywhere. And giant space beam in the sky. How's that for a total cliche? It's like the ultimate definition of what a cliche superhero movie is nowadays. And usually that's a very negative connotation to have. And well, guess what? That's in what's also at the same time considered one of the best superhero movies at all time. So please tell me how that makes sense, all right? It is very cliche when you look back at it all that. Like, it's, it's such the typical superhero plot. So much. It's like, what? <laughs> it literally has everything. It hits everything as far as typical superhero movie goes, you know? Besides, you know, they don't have any origin for anybody, but that's because they've already all been introduced. But yes, that's that's my point I'm making. So that all being said, that's, that's basically the wrap-up. That's all I gotta say about this. I don't want to get too specific. These are getting too long. That'll be said, uh, I'm gonna rank again the MCU move, the MCU, right? It's at the top, it's at the top, alright. But that's gonna change. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm flipping out, my nerd senses are tingling. Okay, that all being said, thank you very much for watching, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and of course, stay tuned for next up, we get into phase two of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, starting off with... Not, not a hot one. <laughs> Iron Man 3, bye!